Um, policies, policies and procedures. Uh, this was emailed to both parents and seniors, but I really want to touch base on it again. So we're making sure that we follow our guidelines for the Ohio Department of Health and the state of Ohio so we can uh, have our farewell. So um, obviously um, it, everybody could join together and help us uh, to keep our social distance and follow the guidelines. It'll make it better for everybody involved. Right now the weather looks great, uh, 75 and sunny as far as the latest forecast I saw for Friday. Uh, we're having it this Friday the 12th at the stadium at 10 a.m. If it happens to rain, which I'm hoping it doesn't, it'll be next Friday at 10 a.m. So, okay. The gates, uh, the gates will open one hour prior to, and I'll, I'll get to more gate information late, later and what information uh, that you'll receive or need to get into the gate. Those that might have the following un underlying uh, conditions, um, fever, cough, feeling sick, nausea, vomiting, and so on, or any type of COVID-19 system should not attend the ceremony, including a temperature of over 100 degrees. Okay, so let me scroll down. Whoops, sorry. Required, re required signed waivers. Uh, on this uh, packet that I sent out earlier, along with this correspondence, there was five uh, waivers attached, one for the senior, and four for the guest. Uh, we ask you to take your temperature that day, and we ask you to bring those sign waivers and date it 612 of 19, and send uh, bring it with you to the gate that you're supposed to come into, and hand it to the gate workers, and they will check you off and make sure you know what group seating you're in and what section you're in. So um, once again, nobody will be able to uh, be admitted without that sign waiver. We will have extra waivers there for people to sign if need to, and also to have their temperature taken. Um, but it would be a, a good effort on all our parts if we could bring the, the waiver signed. And I know some of you may not have printers, but uh, uh, we'll have those available here at the high school on Wednesday and Thursday uh, that are printed off and we'll also have the gate. But uh, to make it smooth transition and keeping that six foot distancing, with the groups, uh, it may go a little bit smoother through the gate. So uh, everybody must wear a mask. Everybody must wear the mask once they come in the stadium, all the way through the entire ceremony, and once they exit the stadium, then they may take it off. So I told you that available at the gate, um, time today, once again, everybody must wear a mask. Um, all class of 20, 20 members will be given a gate assignment for the graduate and your family members to enter. As I mentioned earlier, once entering the gate, the family members will go directly to their assigned group seat in the home bleachers, uh, sectioned off A through G, and the graduate will head to the seating area on the field, and your name will be on the chair. Online farewell program. I know we're, we're only allowing four due to the circumstances of COVID-19 and the procedures that we have to follow to be able to put this program on. We will have an online stream. That stream will be sent out, a uh, link will be sent out this evening to you by email by myself uh, through uh, uh, final form. So it'll go to the parent and the student. And also will be set on our webpage. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, there's a link to our senior farewell on our webpage, and that will go up live as soon as we get the, the link from this meeting also to post. Uh, so we're looking between five and six this evening. So, uh, so anybody that cannot attend and wants to watch the farewell program can watch it live through that streaming uh, of our YouTube channel. So, and this is the first for us. We got a YouTube channel. So, um, handicap guest parking. I've had two requests so far. Um, if you would like to, uh, if you need handicap uh, parking and uh, handicap seating, uh, please let us know by contacting the office tomorrow uh, at the latest Thursday because we'll have to change our, uh, our seating charts that we made up with, uh, with the information on, as you'll see later. Uh, guest videotaping and pictures, you can take all the pictures and videotapes you can from your seat. Uh, but nobody is allowed under any circumstances permitted to leave their seats and go down to the uh, steps uh, to take pictures 
or to view graduates during a ceremony. We want to make sure everybody's social distancing, plus we do not want to walk, block anybody's views when they're walking down. Photographer, we have hired a photographer to take pictures. They will take pictures as a graduate walks up to get their portfolio at the, towards the end of the ceremony, and they will also take a standing picture of, that, uh, of, of all our uh, seniors that go through the farewell assembly, and we will, uh, uh, the district's gonna pay for a five by seven for you to have, and then I will give you that link right there. Uh, I will send that tonight out by my email also of where once he gets his pictures taken, he will upload to that, uh, his, his site uh, where you can uh, view. So um, once a senior gets their portfolio, now this has changed a little bit, especially uh, from uh, what, what Ashton did uh, and a couple other people. Uh, once a senior receives their portfolio, they're going to leave the stadium and they're going to meet the family at the gate that they come through. And I'll show you that all that here at the end. Um, what we're going to do just a little bit differently is we're going to do 15 at a time. So uh, we'll have that first row stand up and then we'll have them come through. Their name will be called and they'll get their portfolio. They'll go over and get their picture taken. And then as soon as that first group of 15, uh, we will dismiss those 15 groups of attendees through with that group of 15. So we're asking you to stay in your seat so that we do not block any other views. Uh, of, of anybody else. So uh, I know you want to get your graduate as soon as possible, but uh, if we could uh, stay in our seats and every 15th person, we will uh, go ahead and dismiss those people, uh, give time for you to get down the steps so we can go with the next round of 15. So let me click out of this. Okay, that ends that slide. I went backwards for some reason. There we go. Dress, um, as always, we wear caps and gowns. If you don't have a cap and gown, please contact our office. We do have maybe two, maybe three left that we can lend out. 289-3313 uh, with the area code of 419. Talk to Mrs. Harrigan. Um, tassels, well, we since you've already graduated, uh, you'll wear it over your left side. Uh, since you've already graduated. In the past, we've always worn to right because you haven't graduated yet. So Ash Ashen Career Center has always had this uh, farewell as a formal ceremony, and we consider it a formal ceremony, and we ask that you uh, dress for it. Ladies, we ask if you can wear a dress uh, or a skirt or a dress pants at a top. Gentlemen, if you can wear dress pants, dress shirt with a collar, a tie is preferred. Uh, no jeans, tank tops, tennis shoes, or flip flops. And we obviously understand, folks, um, that a, a person may or may not have those items. So, and we understand that. Um, if you would like to email me or give me a call uh, tomorrow or Thursday and discuss that, I'd be more than willing to. Uh, but we also understand there are situations where students may not have those. So, um, but that that is our standard dress for farewell okay parking okay whoops parking um i'm going to talk a little bit about the the parking if you see those three red circles with the lines through that top one on the top left is a dental office and obviously friday they will be busy so uh, we cannot use that and down on the left hand side in the, and behind the stadium excuse me Right here behind the stadium on Heiner Avenue, where my cursor is, there's some apartments, and there's apartments here. Please do not park in there. I was the athletic director, assistant principal at Ashen for 16 years, and during football games and our track meets, we had people constantly getting ticketed or getting towed out of those areas because the residents would contact their manager and they would call the cops. Also down here at the bottom, if this thing will move, uh, there's this road called Avalon that runs this way. Uh, there are driveways, or there's really small distance in between the driveways, and please be very careful because people have been ticketed or towed from those areas. So, um, gate one is right over here, and you'll see in my chart later where what students will enter gate one. You can park along here, and you can park along the street, and there's another area up in here. I will show you another picture here later, which is an old drug mart. This is actually a business up here 
uh, Armstrong Utilities, uh, where their offices are out front and workers in the back. You can drive through. I suggest we drive through, go around this way, and then park up here in this area as I show you later. Gate two is in through the emergency exit, uh, like they do on Friday nights with the ambulance comes in. Uh, it is off. This is Catherine Avenue up here. Uh, this is has plenty of parking for our families in Group Two to park at Southview uh, Grace Brethren Church. I have talked to them, and they are, are glad to offer their parking for us on Friday. Gate three is the old visitors gate right here. And their parking would be down here in the back staff lot or along the street here in this area. So there's a staff lot and that's street and gate, gate three. Gate four is down on the opposite side of the visitors. There, this is actually a cement walkway, as you'll see in a picture coming up. And there's a parking lot over here and out front of the new middle school at Ashton High School, which comes to gate five. Gate five is parking. Um, for handicap, there's some handicap up in this area, and there's also some open parking here, and then there's a parking on the street Heiner Avenue for people to park. So, and that be the inner. That is actually the ramp that goes up into the stands uh, for handicap access. Also, there's a, a ramp that goes up in there. So that's where we like handicap parking. So if you need that request, please get that to me uh, when you can. So that's our gates. There's another picture of our gates. Oops, sorry. Um, this is a, an overview of what the stadium looks like. Here's where gate four I talked about. That is a cement walkway that walks all the way back to these parking lots over here by the middle school. This is uh, gate three parking up here and along the street. The gate three is over in this area once again. This is a better angle of Southview Church where gate two is parking and also gate two will enter down here. Gate one, you really, it's down in this area right here, gate one. And gate five is over here to the new entrance uh, by the field house where you can see there's handicapped parking. This is obviously the side of the bleachers that we will be using. Okay, additional parking. Uh, this is Heiner Avenue, as I mentioned before. This is Catherine. And I will tell you that the address of the school when I get to another photo is 1440 King Road. And King Road is a side road that runs this way in front of the school and a school uh, kind of sits catty corner uh, towards the corner. It kind of faces at an angle, so they call it King uh, King Road is the actual address. But Catherine is the main one that comes down from the school and comes to the stadium. So let me uh, skip up here, uh, make sure I didn't miss anything. Uh, just uh, make sure I want to stress again: don't park in the the dentist office or Avalon Drive or those apartments. So. Um, We'll go on to seating information. Uh, this is where the graduates will sit down here. There'll be 30, 30 seats across, five rows of 30. Uh, our lab instructors will sit here, and a few board of education managers administration will sit here, and our associate schools, principals, and uh, superintendents to come will sit down here. This is gate, or section A, as you can see, B, C, D, E, and F. Uh, labeled. It uh, will tell you on this chart that we have coming up what section you're in. And these are the group seats. So group one here is, uh, you can see, it looks like a set of eyeglasses. It's actually two rows and they sit two by two uh, right behind each other. And they skip a row, then they go over here to gate or to uh, group seat number two, three, and it works its way down this way to 30B and it comes and starts all over again. So uh, those will be assigned seats for everybody. But this will be the way we are set up, and these are the different sections that we have, A through G. Okay, uh, seating and guest seating. As I said, once again, you can see the numbers up here a little bit better. Um, there's enough seating for us to put 146 families there, uh, four people apiece, and still keep our social distancing. So I'm going to click on this chart, and this is an information piece that will be on that website tonight, too, uh, on, on our website, whcc.org. Click on that uh, senior farewell, and there will be a link to this also. But I'll click on mine. It will load here for a second. Okay. As you can see, uh, well, it's still loading here. Let me hang on here a second. 
David Alice uh, will be the first person in the first chair. Um, this has a student row number. There are no seat numbers for students, uh, but they will tell you which row you're in. Uh, it'll go alphabetical from Alvis all the way to the end of that row. And uh, we'll start with groups of Ashland, then we'll go so on and so on in different schools. That's where the students will line up. The guest group seat number will be one. So when I go back to that chart, I could tell you that David Alice, Alice is sitting in seat one. His group of four is seating in the group seat, number four seats and number one. The bleacher section he's going to be in is A. The gate number he will come in is gate number one. And the parking assigned parking is an old drug mark. If you remember, um, I showed you on that where that uh, Armstrong Utilities is. Just past that, uh, west of that, um, that is that is the old drug mart, which there's plenty of parking up in that area. So they look Madison Adderholt. You go down, names on the chair for the student again, row one. Um, her group of four will seat in group number two. She'll, she'll be in Bleacher A, or they will be in Bleacher A. They'll come in gate two and park at Grace Brethren Church. And it goes so on and so on. Uh, to Marshall Black, row number one, group seat number three, section A, gate number three, and they'll park in the staff parking lot. And then we go to the middle school parking lot in gate four, uh, bleacher section B, and guest group number four. We tried to line, we tried to line the families up approximately where the kids were sitting on the field. So, and then number five, uh, Number five here, the gate number, handicapped parking lot or higher level parking on street parking. That would be in section B, group number five. So it just continues to go on. Here's, here's one we have. We have some handicapped seating already claimed in section D, row D, and we put them in handicapped parking. So uh, their group is 19. So um, I'm going to close out of that. So I think uh, we, when we get that out there, you can you can scroll down and look for your name there by school alphabetically, and that's how we will line up and pass out uh, portfolios. So I will click off of that. And we talked about David Alice being in the seat number one, and his group number one where his family of four will sit will be right here. And like I said, we tried to line up as much as possible across from each other so you can see your son or daughter uh, as best as you can be. So that is the group seating. All right, going on to, let me see if I skipped anything here. Okay, uh, going on to our program, uh, I will let you know once the program gets starts, uh, we are asking everybody, obviously, once you enter to stay in your seats until uh, your group is dismissed and pick up the portfolios. Um, when we call scholarships uh, that are given out that day, you'll see a list of scholarships that are already in a program. Those will be our, those are either in their portfolios or that, that they were already notified on. We do have some that will be given out that day. Uh, we will just have those and the outstanding, outstanding technical achievers by labs uh, when we announce those and also seniors in the military, they would just stand at their seat and not come to the podium, but they would rather just, uh, they would just stand at their seats. Um, okay, what we'll do is go over a little bit about the procedures uh, that we will receive our portfolios. So once we get done with uh, the the announcing of the support staff member of the year, teacher of the year, student of the year, and the seniors in the military. I will address the students for just a little bit. And then Mr. Davis will give a farewell and a closing. And then we will go into the passing out of our career tech portfolios. So we will ask the first row, this whole first row to stand. Okay, and then the first person, David Alvis, will come and follow these red dots until he gets up to this dot here. Okay, we will not start anything until he gets up to this red dot. So it'll be like 
follow follow the monkey. So what you go from here, if it's a person 30, once he moves, move down to this one. Same thing, move down to this one. So when the person in front of you move, you move down to the next chair or you move to the next dot. One thing I do have to tell you, Mrs. Parrish has done this every year that she's been here. Um, unfortunately, with the situation, she can't have it done, but uh, she will have a little table up here. And if you guys, David, if you could stop first and then sign it for her, she would like every student to sign that for her. So once we get everybody lined up and David's here, Mr. Davis will then call the name David Alvis. And when you're at this spot here, students, you may take down your mask, okay, so that we can get a nice picture of you when you come through here at the stage picking up your portfolio off the tables. There'll be a set of tables on this side and this side of the stage. And they will be, obviously, they'll be alphabetical by school. So David's would be right on the end so he can just pick that up and continue walking. He'll walk by myself, Mr. Davis, or Mr. Uh, uh, Cheney, and our board president, and we'll tell you congratulations. And then you'll go to this line over here. And these dots are backed up. So David will go all the way up here to here. And then he'll get his photo taken. Once David... Uh, or any student gets their, uh, taken, a picture taken by the photographer, then they will have to exit the stadium and they will walk around the track to exit the stadium as I'll, you'll see in a minute. Unless they're gate five, if they're gate five, which is over here, they will just get your picture taken and then exit gate five and wait for the parents at gate five. Um, so it's kind of like follow the leader. Uh, when a person moves up, I move up. And when my name is called, before my name is called, when I get to this red dot, I can pull my mask down or take it off, and I can walk across the stage once my name is announced, get my portfolio, walk in front of the stage, say hello to us. Hopefully it's hello to us. And then get in line for the pictures. Once we do the first 15, once we do the first 15, we are going to wait for parents in seats one group seating one through 15 in the bleachers. We will then dismiss you to come down out of the stands. What we don't want to see is, let's just, I'm not going to pick anybody here. Let's just say that uh, um, one of these people, number nine, uh, whoever that is, got their portfolio and the parent wants to leave. Well, we do not want to block anybody behind them of getting maybe a snapshot of their uh, son or daughter getting their portfolio. So we will ask 15 at a time, we'll go in groups of 15, ask you to stay there, and then we'll dismiss those groups uh, that have received uh, their portfolios. And once they get down the steps and out of the way, we will then move on to the next person on the line and so on. So we'll continue that group of 15 until we completed everybody's portfolio. And the last person then would walk through, get the picture taken, and then out. Mrs. Lighty's students, senior students, she will have a table set up here, and she will have something in a, a gift bag for you when you leave. So Mrs. Lighty's students will have a gift bag when you leave. When you walk, your, your principal of your school will probably also come up here and join us too, or, and or superintendent will come up and join us. So that is the passing out of the procedures. Let me see if I missed anything in that. Groups of 15, ABS. Okay, unmask. Told you about unmask. Once you go through here and unmask and go through, leave the mask off until you get your picture taken. And it's your choice whether you want to put the mask back on or just leave it off as you go to leave the stadium. So, all right, exit the, exit the, exiting the stadium. Like I said, gate one, gate two, gate three, gate four, and gate five over here. This is where the photographer will set up. You'll come down from your seat through here, come down the track, probably get your picture taken once or twice, come in line, get your picture taken. If you're at gate five, if you enter through gate five, then you would just turn right and go out gate five. If you enter through four, three, two, or one, you will go out towards the track and you'll walk the track towards that gate. If you're gate four, you go out here, obviously, and gate three, you go out here and two and one. So uh, students, you're gonna have to walk around the track Take it as a victory lap and, and, and walk out of the stadium and meet your parents. Okay, um, there will be a recorded version of this 
information session uh, will be added to our website later for if you want to review it or in case you know anybody that misses it. I will also send an email out to parents and our seniors in regards to seating charts, excuse me, parking maps, seating assignments, uh, the link for the photographer, and the streaming link for the ceremony uh, that you might want to have somebody watch. So um, I will send that out shortly. Um, later on, I will send the link to uh, this video out, um, but you might be get it faster if you get the link off the website here, hopefully in about uh, an hour or so. Uh, with, with all the rest of this information down here that I'm sending out by email to final forms to parents and students, this information all will be posted on our website too. Uh, sometime after the video is uploaded uh, of today's virtual practice, uh, it'll be uploaded and all that information will be on there. So um, I don't know if there's any questions out there. Uh, I'm going to jump off of this and I'm going to stop presenting. And get to it. Oh, come on. There. There. Stop presenting. So uh, I see a bunch of questions. I see Mr. Wilson has talked about Chromebooks and a message from Mr. Huffman. Talked about the signed waivers of having all the signed waivers in. And that's a lot of Mr. Wilson. Uh, William asked, uh, Flaherty asked if they were going to be seated by alphabetical by program. No, it'll be alphabetical by school. Uh, William, since you are a non-associate school, um, you will be mixed together with other kids from uh, other non-associate schools. The link to the waivers, um, I, I'll send that out again. Uh, Amy Heller, I will send that out again in an email tonight. I'll make sure I try to send out a copy of a waiver so people can uh, fill that out also. I'll write that down here. Copy of waivers. Okay, Mason Gilmore, can I take my mask down to do the pledge? Yes, Mason. Uh, when you come up to do the pledge, um, I will ask you to do the pledge probably from the other mic um, that will be set up there. I'll talk to you before the ceremony begins. Yes, you may take your mask down to uh, go ahead and, and, and do the pledge. Any other questions? Maggie or Gate number and family seating info be in the link. Yes. Yeah, that chart that I showed, Maggie, uh, that spreadsheet, that will all be in a link that will be posted on the website, and I, and I will also email that out this evening as a PDF. Marshall, I like your picture up there, those sunglasses. But I think I like Katie Griffith's logo better. It's that high State logo. Okay, guys, if you think of any questions, please feel free to email me or call the office um, tomorrow or Thursday. Uh, just don't wait till Friday morning because we're, we'll be up there setting up at uh, 6.30, 7 o'clock. So um, looking forward to seeing you guys again and seeing you Hopefully not for the last time, but looking forward. It's been a long time for us not to see you guys. Your teachers are, are more excited to see you guys again and give you a nice farewell. The uh, weather looks great, and we are just looking forward to it, and we cannot wait to see you all again. So it's been a long time. It's been too long since we've seen you, so it's going to be a good day. So if that's it, um, thank you for attending. And if you have friends out there don't attend, if you want to pass that information before I send an email, that uh, that uh, that information will come out on the website and 
through an email through final form. So thanks guys. You guys have a great evening and looking forward to Friday. Take care of yourselves.